Right, this is a quick video of how to do this artist. I'm just going to bring that up for now, sharing the screen. So it is this artist here um, who um, does like a surreal dreamlike thing. He's using all the skills that you guys already know where you're cutting out things and putting them together. So we will stop sharing, go back to Photoshop. So here's our picture of a building. So just like the artist model, we're chopping out things uh, using the polygon lasso tool up here, um, clicking around the shapes. And then what you're doing is copying that and chopping them out and putting them onto a new page. So with a little circle, selects, uh, you go edit, copy, you go file a new, and we're going to stick them on a new page. So you go up to print up the top, all presets, and then what happens is um, you go to A3, you go uh, Cybras, and you go Create, and so there is your page there. Um, edit and Paste, and there is your shape. Now, if you see from the artist model, here's all kinds of weird, crazy shapes underneath. Um, how you do that is, I'm just grab my little picture here and move me out of the way. Um, you go up to new layers and you make them on a new layer. We can grab this new layer and put it underneath and the shape tools for these things is down here down the corner. So you hold that down, you get rectangle tools, rounded ellipses and all those kind of things. You um, choose the circle like your artist model and drag that out and it will fill it in. Now, what happens is where all those things fill in is up here. So you can see the color. So if you want to change the color, you double click up on here and change the color to something else. This is the outside outline. And at the moment, it's got a line through it, which means that it's selecting nothing. You can change that and change it to an outline as well. Uh, you can also dial in the numbers up here to get more of a perfect circle. Uh, but that's a separate layer, so you can move that around. If you're wanting to do uh, sharp um, lines and, and shapes, like an artist model, then you go up to here and do a new layer again. And then you're using the polygon lasso tool, and you can click around a shape that you want to do. Then select it, and then we can use our paint bucket tool Normally it hides underneath the gradient tool, so you hold it down, go to the paint bucket, choose the color that you want it to be. Artist model used red, so it's a really good idea to do that. Copy and paint and stick it in. So if you want to get straight lines, that would be using uh, the, the paintbrush tool here. You've actually got a pencil here as well. Uh, sometimes it hides underneath here. It, it, do some red lines, or you can choose black lines. Like the artist model, let's do black. Click once, hold down shift, click again, and it draws, or should draw a line. It's probably too tiny for us to see. Let's try that. Is it working? No, it's because I got an area selected. There you go. Go back up to select tool, right mouse click, deselect, back to our pencil tool. It's way too big. Let's make it smaller. Click, hold down shift, and click on the straight lines. So that is the video and uh, short and nasty and quick.